Hi everybody, just a quick tutorial today on some fun atmospheric effects that you can get just by cleaning your brayer. These are some prints that I made while I was cleaning my brayer from doing jelly printing actually and I discovered that they make kind of spooky little landscapes and so I decided to try to do it deliberately. The setup is easy. I'm just going to put some black acrylic paint on a piece of cardstock. You want to put it in the center, have the cardstock arranged vertically on your desk. And what I first do is I coat the brayer with the paint at the bottom of the piece of cardstock. Then I roll off most of the paint up on the top half of the cardstock. And then I just roll my brayer back and forth on a blank piece of paper that's sitting next to it. And you can see what a fun little ghostly sort of organic landscape it makes. So I'm just going to do a few more. Each one is different, which is incredibly fun. Some of them look like seascapes. Some of them look like mountain landscapes. A lot of them look like water. If you have too much paint on your brayer, you won't get the kind of fun variation in the depth of the black that makes the landscape really look like a landscape. So that's why you do that second step of cleaning the brayer on the top of the piece of cardstock. As I said, I found this technique just when I was doing jelly printing. I always keep a piece of cardstock off to the right hand side of what I'm working on and I clean the paint off my brayer just by rolling on a piece of cardstock. And I often find that the color mixtures are things that I can use in other pieces. But when I was doing this video, I had a, a step that I was shooting where I used black paint and the cardstock that I cleaned my black paint off on is such a beautiful little print that I actually think I'm going to frame it and hang it on the wall. So I thought that this would be a fun technique to show you. This is actually one kind of cleaning that I can get behind because it creates art instead of just making you want to cry. So try, you know, get a big stack of paper and try a bunch of them all in a row until you run out of paint and I think you'll like it. Here's a better view of of how I have the piece of cardstock with the paint arranged on it. And you can see how simple this is, just two pieces of paper and a brayer. I think they're beautiful. Hope you give it a try.